Hello fellow makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. Now, over the years I have done lots and lots of printing with resin. I've tried lots of different colours and I've tried lots of different varieties, companies that make it, consistencies. But the one question I've always thought, you know what, I should give a try but never have done, is which is better? Regular 3D printing resin or water washable 3D printed resin? You see, what happens is when you print with regular 3D resin, such as this one, standard polymer resin grey, once you have run the print, you then need to wash it. But with this one, it's a weird oil-based, very sticky consistency, and it needs to be cleaned with a special chemical. Isopropyl alcohol, in this case, 99% industrial isopropyl alcohol. It's extremely strong and you use it for washing your resin miniatures. You have to make sure you wear glasses, you have to make sure you use gloves, and yeah, it's also quite expensive compared to the alternative. And what's the alternative? This stuff. Water wash resin. Pretty much the same as the other one, but instead of having to use the nasty isopropyl alcohol chemical, you can just use lovely, straight out of the tap, H2O. Water. Now that's going to save a lot of money and also it saves you using a lot of chemicals because every time you finish washing these things after two or three washes of different kind of miniatures or models that you're building you then have to dispose of the uh, alcohol and you can't just pour this down the sink i personally pour it into a container and take it down to my local recycling center every couple of months once i've got a couple of liters of the stuff and they dispose of it with the paint but i don't like doing that so i thought you know what if I can start using the water wash stuff instead of the alcohol wash stuff, then all the better for me, all the better for the environment, and all the better for my pocket as well. But, is there a difference between the two? Is there a notable difference in quality, strength, detail, between the regular stuff and the water washable stuff? So today, we're going to do some test prints. We're going to wash them, scrub them, see how they go, see how they paint, and work out which is better and can you get away with using the water wash stuff instead of the nasty chemical goo stuff? So let's get on and try printing some chemical wash miniatures and some water wash miniatures. Let's give this a try. Okay, in the interest of a fair test, I'm going to basically prepare my prints in the same way. Uh, this is uh, resin, so I am using isopropyl alcohol here. I just remove them from the support material, take the uh, figures out and the bases out, and then cure them in the lovely British sunshine. And for any of you who haven't been to the UK, the lies about fog and uh, raining all the time are just that. Fibs, lies and rumours. We do occasionally get sunshine. At least one or two days a year. Okay, this guy is on your standard resin. He has got all his parts. Everything seems fine. All his buckles and belts and all the things hanging off his uh, sash all seem to be good. His arrowheads are all intact and the crossbow is fully printed and detailed in the back. His face looks good. You can clearly make out his beard, his eyes, his brow, his mouth. So yeah, very, very nicely detailed. And this is his water washable resin cousin. Very, very detailed as well. Face might be just a little less sharp, but um, nothing to write home about. Everything's fine. Until you realise his crossbow doesn't have the loop at the end of it like the other one does. That seems to have come off. And also the buckles on his boots don't seem to have printed out quite as uh, well as uh, his normal resin-based cousin. So, yeah. Still, good level of detail. It's cured nicely. He's not tacky at all. Uh, the base is nice and flat. And yeah, he is uh, not distorted or warped in any way. And so yeah, those two are great. But yeah, but I say there's just a couple of bits missing from him, which look like they come off when I've uh, removed the support material. Next, we'll look at Skull Splitter. This is... Oh, where is she? Here we are. This is the non-water-based... Um, resin, this is a standard resin, all good, lots of detail, lots of detail in the face, the hair is good, the 
axe, um, head and shaft are all nicely there. There's no warping there. Oh, fine, yeah. Good levels of detail. The face you can see. Contours on her abdomen are there. She's got the six pack and she's got uh, the loincloth as well. It's all nicely folded and good. And the base is nice and flat and detailed as well. Then we'll look at her cousin here. And yeah, all seems absolutely fine as well. But the axe seems to just be a little thinner at the bottom and the end of it has come off. So yeah, there's a there's a chunk missing from the end. So yeah, once again, it looks like removing the support material, the regular resin has survived quite well, but maybe some bits have come off on her. And yeah, no, you're not quite as uh, complete as the standard one. Then we've got our friend here. This is the musician or the bard she's sitting down her guitar's looking good while well, stall is all printed out well her legs are intact nice detail on her face yeah nice done and the, the base is fine and there's the uh, her little hat on the floor asking for uh, for money and yeah the uh, guitar has little uh, keys on either side there to tighten the strings and those are all nicely done then we look at her water washable friend here and yeah good level of detail once again face might be a little softer but i'm not totally sure all seems fine but the leg on the stool has come off and the keys on the bottom here on the side of the uh, machine head, I don't know if you can make it out, aren't quite as pronounced. I think some of them have come off when I've removed the uh, support material as well. So yeah, once again, maybe not quite as strong before it's cured. And finally, we have the clumsy halfling. Start off with the uh, standard resin. He's fine, his arms and legs are all printed out, his face is well detailed, his flagon is raised high. The carpet is got all the folds where he's slipping on it. And yeah, it looks quite a dy dynamic pose. And the beer's pouring out the top. He's ready for an evening out of the Prancing Pony. And his water-based friend. I say water-based. I don't think it's water-based. It's just water washable. Uh, what's the first thing you notice? The beer is missing. It looks like the beer has come off and I had a quick look at the uh, support material I'd thrown away and yeah, it was in there. And so once again, these are the same files, the same level of detail, the same settings, the same printer. The only thing that has changed is the resin itself. And for some reason, this one just seems like the detail bits and the delicate bits are snapping off a lot easier than with your standard resin. Now, if you took a lot of time and just made sure you were very, very careful and used very sharp snips, you could probably get them to basically come out the same, but just removing it as normal, you know, just giving it a twist and pulling it out, the water washable resin seems to be a lot more brittle and a lot more prone to snapping. However, the detail level seems exactly the same. Maybe the water wash one's a tiny bit softer, but... And you probably wouldn't notice any difference unless you were uh, as anal as this and basically zooming straight into it and basically looking at all the little bits and pieces. I think with a bit of paint and um, some decent washes, you would notice very, very little difference between the two. So yeah, let's have a bit of a roundup and see how we've done. So yeah, having checked out uh, water washable compared to resin, definitely, definitely a strength issue with the water washable. All of the figures I printed out are exactly the same supports, exactly the same printer settings, exactly the same times, and me basically taking off in exactly the same method. And yet time after time, little bits were missing from the water washable one, which obviously came off on the supports. I've checked the supports, which I was uh, using. I dug them out the bin. And yeah, there are bits still on there. Whereas 
the regular one washed with isopropyl alcohol. No problem at all, nothing came off, they're solid and none of the little bits are missing. So, at the end of the day what I'd say is, it's great if you can use water washable resin. If you're printing out things that don't have tiny little details that might be taken off when you're removing the support material, brilliant. You're saving yourself some money and you're saving chemicals being put into the environment. However, if you're printing really detailed miniatures, such as these ones here from, I believe it's Loot Studios I got these from, some of the little bits like buckles, sword hilts, and all the little sort of accoutrements that sort of stick out and are a little bit delicate, they seem to survive a lot better using your regular isopropyl alcohol washed resin. Now, I'm not saying that this is 100% exactly what's gonna happen every time. I'm just doing this as a trial because I was interested, but yeah. At the moment, I'd say both function, both have great detail. It looks like the water washable ones are a little bit more prone to snapping and having bits come off them when you're removing the support material. Although, when they are hardened via UV curing, they both seem to have the same strength and the same kind of resilience. So yeah, it looks like it's only when they are being cured. Is this an exhaustive test? No, it is not. Your mind is very, very much vary. You may think I'm wrong. If I think I'm wrong, stick your comments in the comments below. Let me know. But let me know your experiences. Have you used water washing resin? Have you used regular resin at the same time? And do you see a difference in the two? Thanks for watching 3D Printed Soup. Stay happy, stay safe. Keep printing. Shut up!